a short flight from Las Vegas, deep in the Nevada desert, lies the top secret military base called Area 51. This giant complex remained unacknowledged and disavowed by the U.S. government for almost 60 years. But in August 2013, the CIA finally admits this place is real. But how did a top secret military base become the place to spot aliens? And is it linked to the mystery crafts spotted in U.S. skies? The U.S. Navy has confirmed that UFOs are indeed real. After decades of silence, insiders are speaking out to share closely guarded secrets. We did reverse engineer things out there. And reveal the true stories of Area 51's UFOs and mystery crafts. There's been an awful lot of misinformation. If you don't know what's going on, you might like to find out. When I got off there at Goom Lake, I see a runway, a little tower, a couple hangars, a community center type uh, building. We slept in trailers. Being informed on what you can talk about or not talk about starts right at the very beginning. It's just that way. You don't talk about anything that's classified. People on the project didn't know everything. You know, the mechanics, for instance, didn't know what we were doing in the air. <laughs> that's, that's how secret it was. The recent sightings are in no way connected with any secret development by any agency of the United States. Through the 1950s, UFO sightings become the convenient cover-up for U-2 flights. But on May 1st, 1960, America's top secret spying mission is blown when the USSR downs a high-flying U-2. The CIA knew that Soviet surface-to-air missile technology was going to catch up to the point where it could shoot down a high flyer like the U-2. But they are just the start of the stories that will become the myth of Area 51. 